In today's hyper-connected world, it's hard to imagine life without Wi-Fi. We use it to stream videos, connect with people around the world, and browse the internet, all without any wires. A few decades ago, the idea of wireless technology seemed impossible, but things have changed. One fascinating aspect of Wi-Fi is that its signals can reach our devices even when the Wi-Fi router is far away, or separated by walls and doors. This brings up a natural question. If light can't travel through walls, how can Wi-Fi signals? To understand this better, let's explore some basics of how Wi-Fi works. Basically, Wi-Fi uses radio waves to transmit information between devices. These radio waves are a form of electromagnetic radiation, similar to light waves. However, radio waves have a much lower frequency and a much longer wavelength than light waves. This difference in frequency and wavelength determines how different types of waves interact with various materials in their path. When an object gets in the way of light, the light is either absorbed or reflected, depending on the material's properties. For example, when light strikes a wall or a door, it can't pass through, as the atoms and molecules in the material end up absorbing or reflecting the light. This is why we can't see through walls using visible light. Wi-Fi signals, on the other hand, don't face that problem. Their lower frequency and longer wavelengths allow them to pass through most materials with ease. This is because the atoms and molecules in materials like walls, doors, or even furniture are less likely to absorb or reflect the lower frequency radio waves. As a result, Wi-Fi can travel through walls and other obstacles with ease, allowing us to access the internet from different rooms of our homes or even from different floors of the building. However, Wi-Fi signals can't always pass through materials without any interference. Certain materials can still weaken or block Wi-Fi signals. For example, water absorbs radio waves. So if there's a large body of water in the path of a Wi-Fi signal, it might get weaker or not reach your device at all. Similarly, metal surfaces can reflect radio waves, potentially causing interference or blocking the signal. Additionally, other electronic devices using radio waves, such as microwaves or cordless phones, can cause interference with Wi-Fi signals. So, how can we make our Wi-Fi signals stronger and more reliable? There are a few ways to boost your Wi-Fi signal and minimize interference, both of which make them work better. 1. Position your Wi-Fi router in a central location, away from walls and other obstacles. 2. Place the router on a higher surface, like a bookshelf or a desk to provide a clearer path for the signal to travel. 3. Avoid placing the router near metal objects, large water containers like fish tanks, or electronic devices, such as microwaves, which can cause interference. 4. Make sure your router is updated to the latest firmware, as this can improve its performance and signal strength. 5. If your Wi-Fi signal is weak in certain areas of your house, consider using a Wi-Fi extender or mesh network. These devices will help amplify and distribute the Wi-Fi signal to those hard-to-reach areas. In conclusion, Wi-Fi signals, unlike visible light, can pass through walls and other obstacles due to their lower frequency and longer wavelength. By understanding this phenomenon and knowing how to minimize interference, we can enjoy strong and reliable Wi-Fi signals throughout our homes and everyday lives.